Hey it's Bay, and today I'm back with another best tech video. This time I'm going to be showing you some more awesome products that are under $25. As always, I'll be putting the links to where you can purchase all the items that I mentioned in the description. I'll also be putting my best tech playlist in the description if you want to go check out more videos just like this. While you're down there, please leave a like as it helps me out a lot and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. The first thing we have is the Aesthete Lifestyle Universal 3-in-1 Smartphone Camera Lens Kit. Inside the box, you get a universal lens clip, a wide angle and macro lens combo which is basically 2-in-1, a fisheye lens, a microfiber drawstring carrying bag, and a microfiber cleaning cloth. The microfiber cleaning cloth has a really cool design and I love the colors. It does a great job of cleaning your lenses and even your phone screen so I'm glad they included one. The drawstring backpack can hold a lens clip, lenses, and microfiber cloth, and I like it because it keeps everything in one place while it's in your pocket or bag. Each of the lenses has its own lens cap to protect the front element, which is good. To attach the lens onto your phone or camera, all you have to do is pinch and align it. You can use the camera app to help with aligning the lens into place. On one side of the lens clip, there is a little piece of foam on the inside to protect your screen from scratching. To switch lenses, just unscrew the lens on the lens clip and put the other one on. The big lens is a fisheye 180 degree lens, and the small one is a 0.67x wide angle lens but when you unscrew the top part, it becomes a macro lens which is really cool. Here are some sample photos taken with the Aesthete Lifestyle Universal 3-in-1 Smartphone Camera Lens Kit. For $13, this lens kit is great value and I definitely recommend it. The next product we have is the Brendo hard case for the new Nintendo 3DS XL. I believe this will also fit the Nintendo 2DS XL. This is the discontinued case, but this one and the newer one are pretty much the same except for a few changes. I did order the newer one and I'll have some videos of that one when I get it so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you get a notification every time I upload. Anyways, what makes this case so special is that it can hold 24 games. That is a lot of games and I don't even have that much 3DS games yet. The games are held by these small mesh pockets that the cartridges snugly fit in. On the bottom game card holder, there is a stylus holder to hold an extra stylus. On the back of the bottom game card holder, there is some microfiber padding so that your console won't get scratched. Speaking of your console, this is where your new 3DS XL or 2DS XL will go. There is a mesh pocket which is nice because it securely holds your console into place. Even with the case open and upside down, the 3DS won't fall out which is amazing. On the top of the case, you have a mesh pocket to hold your accessories. You can hold things like your AR cards, your charger, some more extra styluses, and more. Overall, this is the best case for your Nintendo 3DS XL and 2DS XL in my opinion and you can find it on Amazon for under $15. Next up, we got a pair of wireless Bluetooth earphones. This is the s Sport wireless earphones. These earphones have a secure fit thanks to the ear hooks and the sound quality is amazing. The mids and highs are great and the bass is great on lower to medium level volumes. The earphones have really good noise isolation and I rarely go above half volume which is nice. You get a few accessories with the s Sport wireless earphones. The first thing you get is a hard case which is amazing for the price. This case will definitely protect your earphones from drops and things like that. Inside the case, there is a mesh pocket so that you can hold your other accessories. In addition to the hardcover case, you get a couple pairs of extra earbud tips so that you get the exact fit, and a short micro USB cable for charging. You also get a cord clip to organize the cable and secure the cable on your head. The right earphone is where all of your controls are. You have a power button, volume up and down buttons on the top, and the charging port on the bottom that is covered by this rubber flap. This rubber flap helps give this pair of earphones its IPX7 rating which is great. You can also call your voice assistant just by long pressing the power button. Overall, I highly recommend this pair of earphones if you're an active person because it's a great pair to bring to the gym. This is the 8-Bit Do Zero Gamepad. It's a wireless Bluetooth controller that you can pair up to your Android or iOS device or even your Windows computer. As you can see, this controller is tiny. It fits in the palm of my hands which is great because I can bring it with me wherever I go. Along with the controller, you get a very short micro USB cable for charging and a wrist strap that matches the color of the controller. The wrist strap is really helpful because of how small the controller is. On the front, you have a D-pad, XYAB buttons, and two buttons towards the bottom that could act like your start and select. On the top, you have your LNR buttons and the micro USB input for charging. 
Towards the back, you have a hole to put the wrist strap in. To pair this up with your device, all you have to do is just connect it like a regular Bluetooth device and you're connected. Of course, the Zero Wireless gamepad does come with more in-depth instructions when you receive it. I personally like to play emulators with this controller. Here, I'm playing Pokemon Emerald using the John GBA emulator. With this emulator, you can bind the controls to the controller which is nice because you can customize it to your liking. You can use this controller to play a lot more emulators and games so I highly recommend it if you're looking for a small, portable controller that you can take with you anywhere. Last but not least, we have the Brainwaves Replacement Memory Foam Ear Pads. If you have the Audio-Technica ATH-M50Xs, you're definitely going to like these replacement ear pads. However, these replacement ear pads aren't just for the M50Xs because Brainwave says that these ear pads are replacement for large over-the-ear headphones. I prefer these ear pads over the stock ones because they're just better in every way in my opinion. The Brainwave's replacement ear pads are larger and the memory foam makes it a whole lot more comfortable than the stock ear pads. I could wear my headphones hours on end without it feeling uncomfortable thanks to these replacement ear pads. Also, these replacement ear pads come in many different colors to match with your headphones. As you can see, mine are purple which looks awesome in my opinion. I highly recommend purchasing a pair if you want to make your headphones more comfortable and stylish. That was this month's best tech episode and I hope you enjoyed. As always, I'll have links to everything that's mentioned in the description if you're interested. Also, I'll leave a link to my best tech playlist as well. Tell me what your favorite item was in this episode by commenting. If you want to see more videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you get a notification every time I upload. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!